Click the filter command in the perspective view window. Hide wall objects in perspective view by clicking the hide walls button. Close the filter window. Switch to full screen in the perspective view window. Open the Storty One ceiling page. Right click on any steel column and open the menu. Select all steel columns by clicking the Select All command. Right click on any steel column and open the menu. Click the Properties command. The Steel Column Settings dialog will open. Enter the rotation angle value as 90 degrees. Mark orientation as middle. Click the OK button to close the dialog. Select the steel column located at the D1 axis intersection. Click the Move command and select the steel column node. Enter minus 16 cm in the DX line, 11.5 cm in the DY line and click the Finish button. The position of the steel column will change. It will become possible to define the connection. Select the steel column located at the C1 axis intersection. Click the Move command and select the steel column node. Enter 14 cm in the DX line, 11.5 cm in the DY line and click the Finish button. Select the steel columns located at the D2 and D3 axis intersection. Click the Move command and select the steel column node. Enter minus 16 cm in the DX line. Minus 12.5 cm in the DY line and click the Finish button. Select the steel columns located at the C2 and C3 axis intersection. Click the Move command and select the steel column node. Enter 14 cm in the DX line. Minus 12.5 cm in the DY line and click the Finish button. Select the steel column located at the D4 intersection. Click the Move command and select the Steel Column node. Enter minus 16 cm in the DX line, minus 11.5 cm in the DY line and click the Finish button. Select the Steel Column located at the C4 intersection. Click the Move command and select the Steel Column node. Enter 14 cm in the DX line, minus 11.5 cm in the DY line and click the Finish button. Right click on any beam and open the menu. Select all steel beams by clicking the select all command. Right click on any steel beam and open the menu. Click the properties command. From the steel beam settings dialog that opens, select the orientation as mid top. Click the OK button to close the dialog. Select the steel beams attached to the steel column at the D1 axis intersection. Click the node at the intersection of the selected beams. Then click on the column node. The node points of the steel beams will be moved to the column node. Select the steel beams attached to the steel column at the C1 axis intersection. Click the node at the intersection of the selected beams. Then click on the column node. Connect the steel beam nodes at the D2 axis intersection to the column node. Connect the steel beam nodes at the C2 axis intersection to the column node. Connect the steel beam nodes at the D3 axis intersection to the column node. Connect the steel beam nodes at the C3 axis intersection to the column node. Connect the steel beam nodes at the D4 axis intersection to the column node. Connect the steel beam nodes at the C4 axis intersection to the column node. Arrangement of steel columns and beams has been completed for connections.